Okay, let's get into the heart, the meat and potatoes of the album. First off, album is divided into threes, fire, water, and earth. And um, let me tell you, this shit, I, I fucking love this album. I've already been reading shit. I saw an article saying that this is supposed to be Tech Nine's breakthrough album. I actually believe all sixes and sevens was his breakthrough album, but um, or Killer because that's the one he actually went platinum on. But um, I think all sixes and sevens basically really, really pushed him, you know, into a new audience. But um, hey, this this album is just is sick as fuck. So let's get into it. Starts off with a uh, intro called "News with Mark Alford," where this burgundy cloud is emerging over KC or Kansas City and um, I guess it's supposed to signify text influences influence I should say and it goes right into track two uh, straight out the gate featuring Serge Tankin of System of a Down and Chris Calico let me tell you something man um I didn't even look at the feature list. I was so excited when this album came out. I just put the CD uh, in my car radio and I was going, car CD player, I should say. And I am when I heard, you know, Tech was doing his usual uh, double timing thing. And um, when Surge came on, I was like, holy shit, he did not get motherfucking Surge from System of a Down. Sure enough, I look at the back and he got this guy. And let me tell you, this track just, you know, this album as a whole gives me goosebumps. But the, it started off with with Surge doing this shit. And let me tell you, it set the tone for the album because uh, one of the strong points on this album is um, Tech is really showing that he knows how to uh, get someone to, to, to give him a good hook. And Surge really fucking did it on this track. Um, same thing with track three, uh, Bitch. It's really an acronym for breaking into colored houses. And um, <clears throat> T-Pain, I swear to God, man. I swear it's like Tech 9 is forcing me to like T-Pain. I never liked T-Pain, I'll be honest. I, I hated this dude, but um, he really hooked me in. I will admit it, T-Pain. Uh, and, and Tech Nine, Tech Nine, you got me, motherfucker. You got me. And um, <laughs> that he did, he did do it for me on that track. Um, what else could I talk about? There's, there's a ton of good tracks on here. I don't want to sit here and fucking um, ramble. What can I talk about? Uh, Liz Suwandi, again, another perfect uh, example of her singing these fucking hooks and and Liz is a um, mainstay at Strange Music. She basically is a Strange Music artist as far as I'm concerned because she's on a ton of their shit. Um, track 8, Fragile, featuring Kendrick Lamar, Mayday, and Kendall Morgan. Um, dope track where Tech 9 is kind of funny. Uh, Tech 9 is talking about how he doesn't like being criticized a lot because he puts a lot of heart and soul into his music and I gotta say you know I am critiquing you tech but I'm a fan I like your shit you're an influence so I don't think you'll mind that I'm critiquing your shit um let me move forward track nine priorities let me tell you um this is another goosebump song love the concept of the song but most of all what I love about this song is the fucking beat. This beat is it, just so out of left field. Like, who would have thought of this? It, the, the beat is basically, they're talking about um, the, uh, in a nutshell, uh, some of the trials and tribulations of being a uh, minority, I guess. And um, at least that's what I interpreted from, from that track. And, um, and some of the priorities, I guess, because it's titled that. And um, the beat is basically someone on the run, and you hear them breathing and panting. So it's like... And 
that's the beat that that's all the beat is it's so simple but tech the game and angel davenport kill it on that track let me tell you um angel davenport i haven't heard too much about but she is a female rapper that i am definitely gonna look into and it was just great to hear tech and and the game actually rip shit apart on that track that that song unfortunately it, it it's kind of short but ugh, god i wish that song was a bit longer the way they were jumping back and forth the chemistry on that song was just <sighs> fucking insane um so dope in parentheses they wanna um featuring recognize snow the product and twisted insane uh, recognize and twisted insane uh, I'm sort of familiar with thanks to strange music but snow the product I heard some of her shit earlier because hip-hop DX did some little special on her and I was like ah she's all right but let me tell you something tech knows how to bring out the best in some of these motherfuckers man um when I heard her go in I was like yes I, I fucking I fell in love with this girl snow the product shout out to you for for doing what you did on that track I'm not even gonna it it's ridiculous um let me go ahead to my haiku burn the world again uh my haiku is a little uh a little uh intro into the earth part of the CD <clears throat> and it's a haiku that is so fast I didn't even get it it's a little haiku that's like literally like three seconds and tech is spitting real fast and all i got was die at the end of it i have to slow it down or tech send me what the lyrics are for that burn the world dope track dope concept chris calico again with the hook uh track 15 that's my kid uh featuring CeeLo green big crit and cut calhoun dope verses Delivered, of course, by Crit, Calhoun, and uh, <clears throat> Tech, obviously. CeeLo on the hook. Dope concept. Again, y'all see my video. Parents, take care of your fucking kids. That's what basically this track is about. It's about teaching your kid respect growing up. It, it, in a nutshell, that's what that track is about. Um, track 18, Believe dope uplifting track uh basically tech is uh in a nutshell saying anything is achievable if you just believe y'all know how i feel about that sort of shit i like how tech puts it out there it's a positive type thing but i'm more of a cynical motherfucker so um that's just me uh strange 2013 featuring the doors dope fucking track Love the a sample of the Doors on there. Jim Morrison, rest in peace. Uh, love the Doors, legendary fucking band. I don't even know how Tech got that sample. Y'all know Jay-Z got in trouble for that takeover bullshit. But uh, fucking Tech killed it. Um, what else can I talk about? Colorado featuring B.O.B., Chris Calico, Ritz, Mayday, Stevie Stone and Seth Crew. Um, that's a big co posse cut um, talking about, um, it's basically a weed track. And all of them are talking about how, you know, the, the stories are getting blunted and shit. And um, Colorado is the uh, title of the track because that's one of the few states where the shit is legalized. And um, the album ends with Thizzles featuring Danny Brown. And, um, this is where one of the cons kind of gets to me. I love the fact that Danny Brown is on the track. The beat was eh, but um, the the subject matter uh, has um, <laughs> Tech talking about Molly, and um, I never really pictured Tech as that sort of guy. I mean, you know, I, I pictured him just like smoking weed and, and probably drinking and shit. But I, I, you know, Molly's so trendy. I, I never figured Tech Nine would 
venture into that territory. But the song was dope nonetheless. That's that's another thing that I wanted to talk about that's a pro about this album was some of the songs like Dwam um, and uh, I forget what other, there's, there's other songs that have like a commercial type feel, but Tech 9 is still being Tech 9 on it. He's not uh, watering it down or dumbing it down for none of y'all. And um, yeah, that uh, that's it. I mean, that's all I gotta say. My rating of this shit, I'm gonna give it a 9.25 to 9.5. This shit, I think probably for me, it's probably up there with, mm, I don't know. I would say probably with all sixes and sevens as probably the best tech album in my opinion. I think this one is fighting with all sixes and sevens because to me, he gets better and better and better and better. Even when he is somewhat being accepted by uh, the commercial crowd and everything, I think he's slowly being accepted and he's not fucking, like I said before, he's not compromising too much not at all or nothing at all because it's on strange music and I, I mean it's this is this is great independent hip hop at it's best and I don't know what else to say about it go out and fucking buy it I'm just at a loss for words uh, content wise like I said uh, it ranges from you know his dark shit the social commentary on it um, just a little bit of something for everybody. It, this this album, no, I'm gonna say it's Tech's best album, in my opinion. I fucking love it that much. And um, I've been listening to it constantly. And um, that's it. Like I said, uh, shout out to Tech Nine. I love you, my brother. Shout out to Travis O'Gwyn. I didn't forget you, motherfucker. Shout out to all y'all at Strange Music. I know you know who I am. So uh, shout out to Mayday. Recognize Ritz, all y'all, and um, Seth's crew. I will do a review on your shit. Believe me, I love your album. I will do a review on it, and that's all I gotta say. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, support dope ass shit, and that's it. Peace, bitches.